All right. Hello. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Good Hello. evening. Yeah. Good evening. Thank you for coming sa ano trial class natin. Ano. All right. So again, thank you. Thank you. At uh, may mga pumapasok pa sa trial class natin. So while we are starting na, uh, I will accept lang the yung mga pumapasok sa meeting natin. So so far we have 21 attendees. Okay, and growing pa. Marami pang gustong maten. All right? So how's okay. your how's your night? Kamusta tayo? Okay lang kahit mainit. Yeah. So, okay lang na meron kayong inumin dyan sa tabi nyo, ha? Uh, it it yeah, okay be uh, an informal class. Hindi siya ganun ka strict. Uh, you can have your drinks beside you as long yeah. as uh, it will not distract the class. Okay? Okay. Alright. So, yan. Yeah, napakarami natin, ha? Ay, Nasa 21 na tayo. Tubig, Charles. Okay. So, ganito okay. gagawin natin, ha? Uh, when I start the class, imumute ko muna kayo lahat. Then, if you have some questions, you can just... Uh, chat sa Zoom natin. Then, i-unmute ko kayo if uh, you have some questions sa lesson. Alright? So, again, uh, I will introduce myself ano, before we start. I'm Coach Eds, Eds Doromal, a top freelancer on Upwork, also a freelancer for 11 years. Uh, Nag-start ako uh, 2009. Okay, so, nung nag-start ako ng 2009, okay, i-mute muna natin lahat. Yeah, there you go. Nung nag-start ako ng 2009, nag-start ako as data entry person. And I was earning less than a dollar per hour. So, imagine nyo, no? Uh, less than a dollar for one hour. Napakababa. Way back, 2009 pa yan. So, I worked myself. Na, na, nag-struggle din ako sa magiging freelancer. I started investing on free webinars then, Like this, na ginagawa natin ngayon. So, I'm very thankful na umaten kayo sa webinar natin. I also invested sa mga paid online classes. And that's the time na natuto ko how to develop and design a website. And I created edsdesigns.com way back 2009 pa. Ayan. I created edsdesigns.com noong 2009 but I rebranded it last year para ma-register ko sa DTI. And right now, our uh, active website is codespace.com. Pero ang ano ko kasi, ang desire ko kasi gusto kong magturo. Though I know uh, medyo hectic ang schedule ko for the task itself. Uh, I created a, the academy site, codespaceacademy.com. And this is the reason why we are here right now. Because I want to uh, share you yung mga natutunan for the past 11 years. 10, 11 years na naging freelancer ako. So you can down, take down notes, ha? okay lang yan. You can uh, take down notes. And uh, ask questions later if you have questions. Okay? So let's start. Okay. So ang topic natin today is about WordPress. Uh, by the way, this call is recorded. You can always go back to it. Uh, may replay siya after nito. I-upload siya sa YouTube. Then I will send it uh, as an email blast. Okay? So pasadaan lang natin ng konti yung, uh, yung WordPress. So here sa topic namin, this is the actual topic that we are going to discuss if 
you're going to join the paid class. But I'm giving this for free tonight. So, hindi ko siya ma madidiscuss all in all, partially. Uh, kung ano lang yung maano na natin for the uh, one hour. So, we will discuss, of course, the introduction of WordPress. Okay? Sa uh, actual class, we will in, uh, discuss how to install WordPress because uh, Word WordPress is a an open source CMS. And everyone can use it. Okay, we will also try WordPress as well as check the settings, plugins, and themes, and also how to set up pages and posts. And also for my students, I give free bonuses like yung mga resources, premium plugins, and uh, premium uh, themes. And so we, we also give that. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so before I'm gonna start. Uh, this is, these are the requirements if you want to join the class, of course. Pasadahan ko lang siya. So at least you need to have three Mbps of internet. Of course, a headset and a microphone. The Zoom app that we are using right now. And uh, a place in your house with minimal noise, external noise, na para makapag-focus tayo. Okay. And for Photoshop, uh, I'm sorry, for WordPress students, I will ask them to provide a domain name because the domain name, yun yung gagamitin natin sa pag-build ng website. So what we are expecting here, after the class, or five days uh, for the paid class, marunong na dapat kayong gumawa ng website. Siyempre, of course, tuturuan ko kayo how to make it. But right now, we're going to just go through the topics. Okay, so let's start. And this, uh, the instructions as well ng mga students ay naka-save din sa mobile app. So, pwede siyang ma-access. You can study anywhere. As long as may cellphone ka, halos naman lahat merong mga cellphones. So, kapag student ka na ng Codespace Academy, you can access the lesson sa Moodle or sa mobile app namin. Okay, so this is it. So, introducing WordPress. WordPress is the simplest, most popular way to create your own website or blog. Uh, it's an open source license under GPL v2. It's a, it's a licensing company, which means that anyone can use or modify the software. Okay, so when you hear CMS or open source content, it means that anyone can use it. As long as uh, uh, kaya mo siyang i-support, which means kaya mo siyang i-handle. So if we are going back from 15 years ago, paano ba gumawa ng website? how to make a website before mga 15 years ago. You need to learn uh, the languages like HTML, PHP, CSS, and more uh, languages na pwede siyang uh, iilagay sa website like JavaScript to make a single working website. That was 15 years ago nung wala pang WordPress. Ngayon, dahil meron ng WordPress, you can create uh, websites na mas madali pinadali yung way how to create a website. What websites bang pwedeng gawin sa WordPress? You can create business websites. Okay? Uh, E-commerce. E-commerce, ito yung mga stores. Of course, blogs. Kasi ang WordPress ay kilala sa blog um, websites. Portfolios. Ito yung mga ginawa mo for, like for example, if you're a designer, lalagay mo yung mga designs mo doon sa website. That will be called, called a portfolio website. Also for resumes, online resumes, forums, of course, social network. May gumagamit din ng Facebook, uh, sorry, may gumagamit din ng WordPress for social network websites. And of course, ito yung pinaka-popular sa lahat, membership sites. If you heard about sites na pwede kang mag-sign up, and uh, if, you, if you want to join the, for example, the community, you have to pay, that's the membership website. So may mga website din nagawa sa WordPress, and we're going to show that uh, later. Okay, let's move. Again, if you have questions, ha, type nyo lang sa chat. Ha. Okay, so there's two types of WordPress na dito talaga nako-confuse lahat ng mga newbies. May dalawang klase ng websites. First one is WordPress.org and second one is WordPress.com. Ano bang difference nito ng WordPress na to? So let's check. WordPress.org Often called a, so a self-hosted WordPress, it's a free open source WordPress software that you can install on your own web host to create a website 
that's 100% your own. So ito yung wordpress.org, ito yung self-hosted. Ibig sabihin, you can grab the code from the source or from the website ng WordPress at pwede mo siyang i-install sa server mo. And yun, yung website na yun at yung files na yun, it's your own na. You can do anything. Hindi na siya bounded dun sa limits ni WordPress. So that's the difference. Make sure natandaan nyo yan ha, dahil ang ginagamit natin ngayon na WordPress ay .org or self-hosted. Pero para saan ba si .com? Let's see. Si WordPress.com naman, ito yung ginawa rin ni WordPress.org for, for profiteering para magkaroon sila ng profit. If you notice, if you go to web, uh, WordPress.com, pwede kang mag-sign up ng blog doon, di ba? Pero may dugtong, like for example, your name, uh, eds.wordpress.com. Madadala yung word na WordPress. So, in order for you to remove that limit or remove that WordPress.com name and have uh, yung magagamit mo ng buo yung website, you have to pay. That's why it's called for profit and paid service. But it's still under the WordPress.org software. But ang, ang iba lang kasi dito, uh, nawala yung ibang features niya. Merong limitation. Sometimes, ang limitation ng WordPress.com is hindi ka pwede mag-install ng plugin outside their list. So, pwede mo lang i-install ay nandun sa list nila. Okay. And then, for ayan, for WordPress.com, dagdag ko lang din. No? Sometimes, hindi ka rin pwede mag-install ng sarili mong gawang theme. Of course, for advanced developers, they do themes eh, na, na gusto nila or uh, gawa nila for the client. So, sometimes, hindi mo siya pwede i-install sa .com. So, that's why we are using .org, which is 100% uh, customizable. Alright? Sige, let's move. Okay, so take note ha, most of the time when the clients say WordPress, they mean self-hosted. Kasi wala namang client na gustong magkaroon ng, ng website na may, merong limitation. Unless, kung meron na sila existing WordPress website under the WordPress.com system na kailangan mo siyang ayusin or kailangan mo siyang i-edit. There you go. So, take note that we are going to use the .org version. Okay, ito very important dahil ito yung mga tao behind the WordPress. Who created WordPress? Okay, first of all, it's an original creation. Uh, was a collaboration between Matt Malinweg and Mike Little. So, dalawang tao na to, sila yung unang uh, nag-collaborate to implement WordPress. I know there are some other people behind WordPress, but ito yung pinaka-brainhead for WordPress. But recently, or after a few years, si Matt Malinweg, Siya yung naging face of WordPress. He is also the founder of Automatic. Automatic is a company that creates themes and plugins for WordPress. Okay, so it's the trusted company because pag-aari nila eh. All right, so let's move. Oops, sorry. Okay, so my question dito, which is better po, org or .com? I will say the self-hosted, which is the .org. Okay? Because, uh, sabi nga kanina, very flexible siya. Pwede siyang i-edit. Okay? So, ang .com kasi marami siyang limitations. Eh. But, uh, again, you can actually try the .com version. Just go to wordpress.com and sign up an account. Doon mo makikita kung ano yung limitation niya. Sometimes, hindi ka nga makapag-install uh, ng plugin or themes. Sometimes, hindi ka makapag-customize. So, napakahirap yun para si isang developer. Nalilimit yung gusto mong gawin. Okay, thank you for that question. Sige. Next, okay. So, ito yung papakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung mga projects ng codespace.com uh, on different parts of the world. So, ito lahat to ay gawang WordPress. Ito, try na natin to. Kabayan Weekly ay uh, open na natin. Ang may-ari nito ay Arab. Nasa Saudi ang kanilang office. But it's a Filipino uh, ano, uh, yung tawag nito, newspaper company. So we created this WordPress site like a magazine type dahil ito yung gusto ng client. Okay. So gusto nila yung parang blog, blog system. So meron silang ano dito sa taas. 
then uh, if you see i also have this advertisement dahil uh, nag-sponsor sila sa akin so if you notice uh, iba-ibang types ng website ang pwede nating gawin so for this one this is a business blog website it's a magazine type website so i'm going to show you uh, how to tell if a website is wordpress even if wala kang access sa admin we're going to check on that okay Next, uh, ito local. Punta tayo sa local clients namin. DTEC. DTEC Lights and Sounds is uh, a business of my friend, Churchmate. And uh, this is based in Laguna. So, ginawa namin tong website na to as a single-pager website. If you heard about single-page website, buo siyang website. Pero kapag in-scroll mo, parang one-pager lang siya. But if you're going to check at the back of the uh, dashboard, separate pages siya na kinumbine sa front end, which is yung visible uh, page na may kita sa browser. So when you scroll down, yan, and when you click on the navigation, like for example, for packages, mag scroll down lang siya. Same thing with about and contact. Yan. So, kapag may narinig kayong single-pager website, ito yun. It looks like a single-page website, but again, the pages are different. Kinumbine lang siya sa front-end when, uh, actually, depende siya sa team. So, ito, yan. Mukha siya, para mas ano siya, simple tignan. Very uh, minimalistic lang siya. Okay. Last one, open tayo na isa. Ito. Uh, Punta tayong bandang Kanlubang. I have a client from Kanlubang from Asia Philippines. Ang product nila is ano, uh, gumagawa sila ng mga plastic parts ng sasakyan like the fenders, yung mud protection ng gulong, uh, yung sa matting. Ayan. Itong website na to, we designed this na gusto nila ganito yung itsura. We designed it from scratch. If you sabihin, meron kami hinayon na designer, dinisign nila siya sa Photoshop, or uh, yung, oh yeah, Photoshop, then kinonvert namin siya as a WordPress website. Yan. So customized siya based on the yung gusto ng client mismo. So actually, there are few types of themes. Meron premium themes, pwede kang bumili ng sarili mong theme, which, is, which will cost you around $50 and up, $50 to $75. Very popular website is the themeforest.com. Uh, pero sometimes, um, may mga client din na gusto nila ready, ano na, uh, ibig sabihin, gusto nila may sarili silang branding, sariling design. So that that's the time na ang designer, siya na yung mag interview sa client kung anong gusto niyang color, anong gusto niyang uh, layout ng website, at igagawin niya yun sa Photoshop. And that's the time, if af after ng paggawa ng design, Yung design na yun ay mapo-forward sa amin bilang mga developers at kukod na namin yun to show it as a WordPress website. There you go. So, yan. Uh, move tayo sa next. Alright, ito. Nine important WordPress terms that you should know. Kasi may mga terminology din sa WordPress na very confusing sometimes if you're not familiar with it. So, ito. I-discuss natin. Okay, so dashboard. Dashboard is the very first screen that you see when you log in to the admin area of your website. So right now, hindi nyo pa siguro ma-picture out dahil siguro ang iba sa inyo ay hindi pa, uh, ito, hindi pa naka-open ng WordPress website via dashboard. So I'm going to show you how. Okay, may question dito. Can we know? Ah, oh, sorry, hold on. Okay, can we know what type of theme you used for magazine type website? I think it's the Kabayan website. Okay, sige. So since na request nyo, let's go to Kabayan website. Okay, so itong Kabayan website, wala na akong access sa admin dahil hindi ko na sila client eh. But in order for us to know what theme is used, if we don't have an admin login, what we need to do is to look or view the source of the website. So let's just do a right click any any part of the site then go to page source 
and you'll see a bunch of codes, di ba? So, okay lang yan. Huwag kayong maguguluhan sa, sa ganyang uh, codes. And then, control F, look for the WordPress uh, folder na wp-content. Okay. So, meron na siya. Dagdagan nyo ng slash theme. Themes. So, dito may kita natin ang gamit niyang uh, theme. Use paper. So, that's the time that you research it sa Google. Kung anong, anong theme ba itong si newspaper na to. So, let's see. Ayan. So, ito siya. Si newspaper by TagDiv under Theme Forest. So, let's open it. Tingnan natin kung magkano tong theme na to. Okay. So, regular license niya is $59. So, ito yun. Ito yung ginamit naming theme for this client. So, right now, it's newspaper version 10 na siya. It's a number one selling theme for magazine websites. Ayan. So, if you want to do it on your own, pwede, pwede nyo siyang gawin. Okay, so I hope I answered your question. Let's move on sa PowerPoint natin. Dashboard. Pasok tayo sa dashboard nitong DTEC. Okay, in order to log in sa website dashboard ng isang WordPress site, dudugtungan lang natin siya ng WP, or slash muna, sorry, slash WP-admin. Every WordPress website can default yan. Ha? Kapag alam mong WordPress website, always try putting slash WP admin. Yeah, there you go. Ito yung login screen ng WordPress. So since naka-auto-save siya sa browser ko, nalagin ko na lang. And the first screen that you will see after logging in is the WordPress dashboard. There you go. Okay, so we are now on the WordPress dashboard. Dito natin may kita ang status ng website. May mga navigation bar sa left side. For adding, of course, for adding pages, for adding a post. For any other settings like appearance, customize ng theme, update ng uh, versions. May mga iba pang mga, basta marami siyang nakalagay dito. Uh, if you are going to add some plugins, sometimes ang kanilang settings, dito yan may kita sa left side. So that's the first part that you'll see. Okay? Okay, next tayo. Child team. Okay. So sa WordPress, meron ding tinatawag na child team. Kung merong parent team, meron ding child team. Ano bang difference nito? A child team is a team that mimics your parent team. An example of parent team will be any of your themes in the shop. It has the same functionality and styling of your parent theme, and it is used to be able to modify your existing theme. Okay, so let's make it simple. Uh, check out to kung meron tong child theme na nilagay namin. Okay, meron. So ito, ang parent theme niya ay DV. If you heard about DV, dito yung lugar sa Manila. Ha? It's a name of a theme na very popular ngayon. DV theme. Uh, which cost about, I think, $60 a year or a month, I think, or six months, something like that. But it's a premium theme. Ibig sabihin, you have to pay for it. So, ang nangyari dito, we installed the parent theme, DV, and we created a customized child theme to go along with DV. Bakit? Si, D, si uh, child theme, lahat ng customizations na ginawa namin sa website ay nakasave kay child theme. May purpose yan. Kasi for example, si DV, ito si DV, ay nag-update ng version. Right now, version is 4.5. No, 4.4.5. Sometimes kapag nag update siya to the next version niya, minsan nawawala yung settings like the CSS. So, uh, ang developers ng WordPress, gumawa sila ng way to avoid that. And that's where the child team came in. All of the settings, ayan, Detect created by code space. So, tingnan natin yung code nito sa loob. Ha? So, if you check the child theme, just go to appearance, then theme editor, then select the child theme dito. So, right now, ang name ng theme namin ay Detect for child theme. So, all of the CSS, uh, ito ah, I know that WordPress has no coding required. Pero dito kasi papakita ko lang yung codes na to. Just to, for you to have 
uh, the knowledge bakit kailangan ng child team. Eh, pwede namang parent team lang eh, bakit kailangan pa mag child team. Ito. So all of the team customizations, lahat yan nandito. Mapakulay, uh, font style, ang layout, as well as the footers, and anything that you see visually, visually sa website, nakalagay dito. So tingnan nyo kung gano'ng kahaba. Ayan. So that's the purpose of a child team. And it's very important na every website that you do, dapat meron kang child team. Okay. So my question, what's a plug-in? Okay. So explain natin kung ano ang plug-in. Oh, timing, oh. Sakto kasi next page na agad siya. So plug-in. Plug-in offer a way to let you add features on your website that is tailored to your specific needs. Okay, pasimplihan natin. I know that every one of us, meron tayong kanya-kanyang cellphones, right? Mapa-Android man yan, or uh, iPhone. The app itself, yung app, uh, we can apply that sa phone natin bilang parang plug-in lang din siya sa WordPress. Why? Because, di ba sa phone minsan, di ba? Very popular plug uh, app ngayon is TikTok. When you bought the phone, wala pa siyang TikTok eh. Maaring meron siyang mga apps doon na installed or pre-installed, pero hindi ka makakapag-TikTok ka agad. That's the time that you are going to decide na i-download siya sa App Store or sa Google. And you can use the, the service of TikTok after installing it. Same thing sa plugin ng website. So, when you installed WordPress, meron siya mga pre-installed plugins. Pero hindi lahat available na. So, that's the time that you can install your uh, desired plugin. Like, for example, you want to create a contact form sa website uh, and hindi siya available sa plugin ng WordPress. You have to install the plugin that will mimic a contact form. Okay, that's the purpose of it. That's the, ano, para talaga siyang app phone. Okay, so I hope I answered your question. Sige, uh, question lang kayo pag meron kayong mga tanong. Let's move. Okay, short codes. Ahala ko ba, Sir Eds? Walang codes. Bakit may short code? Okay, iba to. Ibang short code when it comes to uh, embedding short codes. Uh, may mga plugins na nag-generate ng short code para ilagay sa specific page. Then, pag sinave mo siya, visually lalabas siya sa website as a uh, feature. Like, for example, a contact form plugin, nag-generate siya ng sarili niyang code Tapos yung code na yun, isi-save mo siya sa page na contact. And when you save it, may kita mo may form na. Let's give it an example. Ah. Okay. Uh, eto, puntahan natin yung isang website na ginawa ng student ko. Actually, ang batch 1 kanina nag-graduate na. So, eto yung mga websites na gawa nila. Okay. So, tingnan natin sa contact form kung meron siyang contact form. Okay, meron. Pero paano ba nilagay itong contact form? Pasok tayo sa admin page niya. Okay, so again, wp-admin. Enter. Okay, and log in. Okay, so uh, again, we are on the dashboard. Ngayon, I-check natin kung paano nilagay ang kanyang contact form. Punta tayo sa contact. Sorry, ito. Dito. So, contact. Edit natin yung page. Ito pala, this is how you edit the pages and as well as how to add the pages. So, madadaanan natin siya. When you're on the dashboard, go to pages. You can take down notes ha, because this is very important then Familiarity sa dashboard ni WordPress. So, go to dashboard, then pages, then go to all pages. All pages. So, all pages, may kita mo lahat ng pages. But if you want to add, you can just click this one, stas, add new. So, right now, we're not going to add a page, but we're going to check anong laman ng contact page niya. Okay, so I just click on edit lang ha. Yan, edit. Okay. So, if you notice, balikan natin si PowerPoint ha. Okay. So, if you notice, ang short code, meron siyang bracket sa magkabila. That's the difference of the short code and an actual code. 
na HTMLs or uh, CSS like that. So right now, makita natin, itong code na to ay generated ng plugin na contact form. So tingnan natin kung saan siya galing. Ha. So puntahan muna natin si plugin na contact form. So ang ginawa ko, nagpunta ako sa plugins, then in-open ko as in installed plugins para makita ko yung plugins na installed sa kanyang website. So ito siya. Take, that, take note of this dahil ito ang pinaka-popular na contact form plugin sa WordPress as of today. Maraming plugins ang makita mo online pero right now kasi ito yung pinaka-popular. Si contact form 7. Yeah, pwede nyo siyang isulat. As well as the author. Si Takuyaki Miyoshi. Yan. Kasi minsan, uh, dahil sa sobrang popular ng plugin, kinakapi ang name niya. So minsan, iba yung, iba yung nai-install mo, though pareho yung name, magkakatalo lang kung sino yung gumawa. So take note of it. Yan. So eto siya. We go to settings. Okay. So eto si contact form. Eto yung short code niya. So this plugin generates a short code in order to produce a contact form sa website. So you don't have to code anything na. Hindi mo na kailangan pa i-code yung uh, contact field, your name field. Ito, hindi mo na siya kailangan i-code ng isa-isa. Especially for subject, hindi mo na kailangan din i-code ang button. Dahil generated na siya via the short code coming from the plugin itself. Yan. So wag kayo mako-confuse pag sinabing short code ha. Okay, so next, move tayo. Categories. Okay. So, uh, on a WordPress blog, meron tayong tinatawag na categories. Categories can be used to group of related blog posts together and to give a brief glance as to what your blog post is all about. So, para siyang tagging. Eh. Kung may kita natin minsan sa Facebook uh, groups, meron tinatawag na tagging for categories. So, parang ganun lang din. So, puntahan natin tong website na to, the European Business Review. Okay. Si European Business Review, client namin siya for, I think, two years na. One of our VIPs. Dahil meron silang, web, marami silang website na more of magazine sites. Na earning naman talaga. And it's a membership site. In order for you to read articles, you have to be a member. So that's why if you notice, meron silang membership accounts sa taas and shop. Because they are selling the articles. Okay, so that's how they earn. And, uh, ano pa, maliban pa uh, na meron silang Google Ads dito na tumatakbo sa website nila. Okay? So, let's close this. Check natin kung saan yung mga categories. Yun, ito. So, for example, for this article, meron siyang category na emerging ideas. So, yan. Nakaseparate siya. Depende kung anong article siya. So, scroll down tayo sa pinakababa. May kita rin natin yung list of articles nila. Okay. So, popular category. So, if meron silang article na about technology, they'll just need to tag it as technology. So, ito yung separate sa mga blog posts nila para hindi maghalo-halo. It, it separates them from the topics. So, yan. Yan ang purpose ni category. So, right now, marami silang blogs. Eh, more than a thousand to eh. Ayan. So, we're, we're still uh, maintaining this website. Okay, sige. So, balik tayo sa term ng category. Okay. Okay, may question. Tinan natin. Ask ko lang po, can we integrate contact form from example na MailChimp or Active Campaign instead of plugins? Okay. For MailChimp and Active Campaign, uh, as far as I know, it's not a contact form. Eh. It's a capture form. Capture form, this is where you can capture the name, email address, phone numbers, and address. But you cannot capture messages unless they have, ano na, allowed na. Ha? Kasi iba ang contact form. Sa contact form kasi pwede kang maglagay ng message eh, and subject. Eh. For MailChimp, it will capture your email address and phone number and it will save it to their database for your email marketing. So, yan. Uh, yes, pwede. Pwede nating i-integrate -in si MailChimp or Active Campaign because they generate a code naman eh. Yung embed code nila. Pwede natin siyang ilagay sa page ng website. Or if you prefer to have it on your homepage or on your, uh, call this, contact form. Okay, so parang ganito itsura niya. Sana ba yun? 
Okay. Ito, hindi hindi ito ano ha, hindi ito MailChimp ha, pero parang ganito yung itsura ng capture form. Okay. So, you get to add your email address here, tapos click on subscribe. Ang mangyayari diyan, yung email address mo mas save sa database and gagamitin siya for marketing tool. Here we go. Okay. Question. Yung contact form po ba, it automatically forwards to an inbox for someone to receive and read them? May code ba yun or kasama na yun? Okay, good question. Balikan natin si contact form. You can set it up actually. You can have an email address para masubmit ang mga submissions. So for this specific plugin, we're going to discuss contact forms. Ha? So let's click on this contact form. Click edit. Okay, so merong four tabs dito. So dito, pwede mo i-customize yung itsura ng form. Merong mga short codes for, uh, for the fields. Now, ang question niya ay paano daw marireceive? So click mo to, mail. So right now, ang mga submissions, excuse me, ay napupunta sa email address ng student ko. So lahat ng submissions dito sa kanyang website, Ayan, contact, yan. Ay napupunta sa email address niya. Ngayon, pwede mo i-customize ito. So, alimbawa, uh, gusto mo siyang ipadala sa dalawang email, pwede. Lagyan mo lang siya ng kama. Or palitan yung email entirely. Pwede yun. Uh, pwede ba siya ito? Okay, so I think nasagot ko na. Pwede mo rin i-customize ito. Usually kasi itong ginagamit namin, customizable ang contact form. Eh. Kaya very easy to use siya. So, pwede mong ilagay dito na, bawa, uh, Dear Admin, We have received a submission. Pag sinave mo yan, at may nag-submit doon sa contact form, marireceive mo rin siya. Parang may nag-message sa'yo. Yung machine yung nag-message sa'yo na inform ka, Oh, Admin, meron nang nag-submit doon sa contact form. Go ahead and check. So, yun, pwede mo siya customize so, yun yung kinagandahan niya. And also, ang maganda dito, you can use an autoresponder. If you're familiar with autoresponder, when you enter your email address sometimes sa mga forms like uh, MailChimp nga, inabanggit kanina, and active campaign, you notice that you receive an email immediately. Yun ang autoresponder. Because it triggers eh. Na, may trigger dun sa loob ng system ng MailChimp na pwede mong i-set na kapag nag-submit ka ng email mo, makareceive ka agad ng response. It could be a generic response or uh, a membership information. So dito, sa contact form, pwede mo siyang gawan din ng ganun. Just need to click this kasi hindi siya defaultly checked eh. So when you click this, okay, and uh, when you set it up, if the person submits the submission on the contact form, they will get the response automatically depende kung anong ilalagay mo dito. For example, thanks for contacting us. Simplihan lang natin. So kapag nag-submit siya, makaka-receive siya agad ng email na ito yung laman. Na nagpapa-thank you ka agad. Diba? Parang personalized siya. Kasi automatically, wala pang isang minuto or minsan wala pang two minutes, nakareceive na sila ng uh, reply. So yun ang kinagandahan nun. Alright? So hope I, I answered your question. Next. Permalink. When you create a WordPress website, ang permalink hindi pa nakaset. So sometimes may kita mo, alimbawa, codespace.com slash and bunch of numbers, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. So dito sa permalink, pwede mo siyang iset. Ang very common setup for permalink ay hostname. Ibig sabihin, it will follow the name of your page. Idudugtong niya sa domain mo. Like for example, balik tayo dito. Let's go to about. If you notice, meron siyang extension name na about. Pero ang kanyang original domain name ay eto, vajoviperes.xyz Ayan. But when you go to about, nagkakaroon din siya ng slash about. So, nagko-connect siya. Because, ang website na to, nakaset siya for that permalink. Pero kapag hindi siya nakaset, ang mga yari dyan, bunch of numbers lang yan. So, mahirap siyang tandaan. Like, like kung gusto mong ibigay yung link na to sa client, so, sige, kontakin mo ko sa vajoviperes.xyz slash and bunch of numbers. 
mahirap siyang i-memorize. Same thing sa permalink na in-offer ng Facebook pages. Di ba kapag nag-create tayo ng Facebook pages, we can customize it as long as meron na tayong 30 fans, I guess, 30 or 50. Same thing. Pareho lang yan dito. So that's the purpose of a permalink. Okay, so sige lang ha. Question lang kayo ha. Nakamute lang kayo. Next, tag. etong tag, related din siya sa category. Ang kinaibahan lang ng tag, very specific naman yung sa kanya. So imagine ninyo, si category nasa taas, si tag nasa ilalim. It, it uh, gives you the more detailed information from that category. Like for example, ang category mo is about technology. Nasa taas siya. Ang sa baba, tag, pwede siyang maging uh, technology about Android or Android phones. Basta related pa rin siya dun sa category uh, technology. So that's the purpose of tags. Dini-describe niya si category. Alright? Okay, so check natin to my question. Sir, example, yung mga blog na older, can I still set up yung permalink and it can have the name of the post? Okay. Yes, you can. Pero ang downside dito, like for example, pin-remote mo na yung post, di ba? Example, yung post mo is, uh, magbibigay tayo ng example. Ha? Okay, punta tayo dito. Kapag hindi kasi nakaset si permalink, Nagkakaroon siya ng bunch of numbers nga, di ba? Bunch of numbers and letters. Like for example, you have promoted your blog uh, article na. And ang mga ginamit mo sa marketing mo ay link na to. Ganitong link. Then suddenly, you change your link using permalink. Sometimes, mariredirect na siya sa ibang link. Hindi na active yung link na yun na ginamit mo dati. Kasi nga, di ba, nag-change na tayo ng permalink. Magiging ano na yan i follow niya na yung title ng post mo. So, that's the downside of it. The answer is yes, pero possible na uh, yung link mo na yun, inactive na siya. Hindi niya na ma-carry over yung old link niya. Okay? So, hope I answered your question. Ah, update lang ha. Meron tayong 26 participants na sa meeting. All right. So move, let's move. Widgets, ito. Widgets. Widgets are commonly used on sidebars but can also be used in different areas of your website. Ano ba tong widgets na to? Very important din to sa website. Eh. Ito yung makikita natin sa footer and sidebars. Let's check, ha? So ito, balikan natin tong website na to. When you go to sidebars, or sorry, when you go to widgets, ganito yung gagawin nyo, ha? Write the steps lang. When you write the steps, pwedeng... Uh, Asan na ba yung loaded? Ayan. When you write down notes, kung paano kayo pumunta sa isang lugar ng dashboard, ganito gawin nyo. For example, dashboard. Para mas madali siyang matandaan. Dashboard, then go to appearance, then go to widgets. Ayan. Para mas madali sa inyong maalala, how to go to widget area. Ayan. That's how you take down notes. Ha? Tip lang yan. Tip. Alright, so punta natin. With the dashboard, then go to appearance, then go to widgets. This is where you will see the widgets for sidebar and footers. Meron din tayong hero. And I will also uh, explain yung hero ha, kung ano siya, anong purpose niya. So for the sidebar muna. Okay. Okay, excuse lang ha. Yan yung mga five seconds. Okay, let's, ba uh, let's go back. So again, pag may question kayo, post lang ha. So, eto. Sidebars. Sidebars, pwede nating lagyan to. Kasi sa layout ng team, uh, you are free to add content sa sidebars and footers. Like for example, eto, nag-add siya ng name, ng image, 
and text. If you notice, ito, Latin text, commonly ginagamit to sa web development. You know, mga developers naman kasi hindi naman lahat writers eh. But you cannot see the actual uh, content ng website if wala kang content na ilalagay. So that's where the lorem ipsum comes in. Tip. Okay. Sulat nyo to ha. Lipsum.com Lipsum. This is where you can get uh, demo texts. Kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng pindot-pindutin lang yung keyboard mo to have contents, di ba? So, ang purpose nito ay type uh, text na pwedeng ilagay sa demo website na ginagawa mo. Just to see how it looks. Yan. So, yan. Tip yan. Lipsum.com Ginagamit namin yan. So, balik tayo dito sa widgets. Okay. So, sa widget, meron ditong image na nakalagay when we open it. Uh, anyway, anyway, pwede tayo magdagdag. Itong nasa gilid na to mga widgets din yan. So, these are default coming from WordPress when you install it. So, for example, let's add calendar. Let's see kung mag-show siya. Ha. Lalagay natin siya sa sidebar. Calendar. Then, save lang. So, ito yung uh, default. So, let's refresh it to see the change. Okay. So, if you notice, meron na tayong calendar kaagad dito. So, you don't need to code the calendar itself. Napakahirap i-code niyan, lalo from scratch. Pero, readily available na siya sa widgets ni WordPress. At pwede mo na lang siyang gamitin. Click and drag lang to. So, napakadali niyang gamitin. Same thing with the other text. Uh, widget. Ito, text widget yan. Dito yan banda sa baba may kita. Ito. So, when you want to use the widget for text, what you do is you just click and drag. Click and drag and drop. And add your content. Very simple. Then save. Then go back to the page and refresh. And ito na siya. Yan. So, pwede ka na mag-add. And uh, another tip, ang sidebar at footer are also known as global content. When you say global content ng website, may kita mo siya sa lahat ng pages. Regardless kung, uh, ang bawa, in-edit mo si text dito, it will be the same content na may kita mo sa the rest of the websites because it's global. You can see it from the contact, Pag pumunta ka sa about, nandun din siya. Yan. Kapag pumunta ka sa services, nandun din siya. Sa home, check natin kasi sometimes ang sidebars ay hindi visible sa home. So when you see here, hindi siya uh, nakashow sa home page dahil may sarili siyang content. Okay? So yan. Especially for footer. Yan. Ang footer ay ano siya? Global din. Dahil halos lahat ng content ng page ng website, nandun din siya. So, let's go back. Okay. <laughs> so, for now, yun lang muna. Dahil we are going to discuss something else for the, uh, ito, for the installing WordPress. Actually, I will discuss it for the interested parties na gusto mag-sign up sa class. So, yung mga diniscuss ko ay patikim pa lang yun. Uh, I know naman na every one of us are, ay, ay gustong matuto ng WordPress. And I assure you na lahat pwedeng matuto ng WordPress. And to to tell you, ha, ito, ha, ang batch 1 ko ay puro mga babae. They learned how to create a website only 5 days using WordPress. I know it's not yet that kind of professional website. Uh, but I will show you how the website looks nitong mga sudyante ko na to. Ano. Okay, this is just to inspire you. Okay, so punta tayo sa batch 1. Ayan. So punta tayo dito sa website ni Chatrice. Okay. So all of them nag-graduate na rin for the module. Okay, wait lang. Check natin to. Ayan. 
So, itong uh, student ko na to is more of a travel blog design ang ginawa niya. So, from scratch, wala talagang content to nung nag-start kami. And uh, what she did, I just gave her the instruction how to do the edits, uh, ano yung tips na pwede ilagay, and you see how the website turned out. Okay. So, hindi ka, mabaga hindi ka mag, ano na parang newbie lang gumawa nito because maganda siya eh. Maganda yung pagkakagawa ng website. It's more of a blog. Now, different types of website naman kasi ang mag pwedeng magawa. Pwedeng personal uh, uh, website, pwedeng business. Now, let's look for an example of a business website or a services website. I mean. Okay. Hold on, ha? Okay, so loading siya. So while we're waiting, discuss ko na rin to, yung mga dugto. Ay, ito, yun, nag-show na siya. Okay, so itong student ko na to, meron na siya experience sa IT. Okay, yun. Hello? Hello? Okay. So, if you hear me, hi lang kayo sa chat para at least alam ko na naririnig na ako. Ayun, okay. So, may mga nag na. Alright, so let's continue. Asensya na, medyo nawala ng connection si Zoom. It happens. Don't worry. Ano lang yan. Minor issue. Ah, nagsa choppy pa rin. Okay, so I think malinis siya when it comes to recording. So, ano na lang natin. Pagpasensya na natin ang internet connection natin. Okay, so the last thing I said was about the student sa travel vlog. Okay, balik tayo doon. Alright. So, okay, balik tayo dito sa website na to. So, again, uh, before nag-start tong student na to way back Monday, Etong website na to ay empty. Wala talaga siyang laman. So she has no idea how to do the website using WordPress. And what I did, I just gave them, sabay-sabay silang nag-class eh. I just gave them the instruction how to do the edits, how to install the plugins, how you can improve your website, tips how to change the colors, and it turned out well. If you see, uh, gumamit siya ng background image. May malaki siyang text dito for uh, read my blog, which is a... a uh, a very good button or strategy para ma mabasa ng mga visitors yung kanyang blogs. And when you scroll down at the bottom, meron siyang picture na pwede niya rin yan. Pwede natin ilagay din yan sa mga websites. Eh. And as well as the footer. Now, I know this is not yet the, the website that a client might be looking, but there's a market for it, like for the bloggers. Okay. And move tayo sa isa pang example. This student has an experience or is a graduate of IT. Pero wala pa siyang ganong masyadong experience when it comes to WordPress. So if you see, this is a services website. She offers services. Actually, I just told them kung anong gusto nyo website na design or anong gusto nyo i-offer, sige, gawin nyo. As long as I can uh, assist nyo kung paano i-change or i-edit yung website. Bahala kayo kung anong... Uh, classing website ang gawin nyo. Pwedeng store, pwedeng kung personal. So right now, ang ginawa niya ay services. Okay? So when you scroll down, yan meron siyang mga ganito. These icons can just be downloaded sa Google. Eh. Or meron siyang parang, parang flaticons.com, something ganon. Na pwede siyang makapag-download ng mga images for free. Same thing dito. Yan. So meron siyang ganyan. So yan, dalawang sample lang ipapakita ko sa inyo. Let's move back to our PowerPoint. Now, ito. Let's hold on with the 
WordPress topic. Let's go with the, the reality. Ano. Uh, ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, ano, do we have ECQ and GCQ, di ba? I know that we ha always have a tight budget for two months na. And uh, the sad truth is, before nagkaroon ng ECQ or GCQ, GCQ, we always tend to look for updated or branded items, technology, phones. Wala namang problema eh. It's okay because uh, possible next year hard-earned money. But when you see sometimes an online course, I'm not promoting just my online courses. Ha. Marami nag-offer ng online courses. When you see sometimes na may nag-promote na ganito, ang usual na feedback ay it's too risky, it's too expensive. But you don't see the investment that you give for you to learn. Ang learning ay ito yung uh, the only uh, possession that you have na hindi mananakaw. So when you invest for that small amount, you learn how to do things. And especially ngayon, I very popular ang work at home. And to let you know, I've been working at home for 11 years na. So not to brag, uh, nung nagkaroon ng ECQ, though yes, affected kami dahil ang clients namin ay nagkaroon din ng problem sa uh, we call this uh, sa virus or nagkaroon ng shutdowns. After a week or two, bumalik na yung uh, work namin. So we are working na ulit with other clients. Okay, so may question dito, sagutin lang natin. Sir, live websites na yan meaning they can earn din pala on the side kung totoo talaga ang laman ng website like services being offered. Yes. Those are live websites. And yung nakita natin na website ng IT, she offers uh, website design din. So, if you are willing to call this um, promote your own services, you can go with a WordPress site na ma-offer mo. Kasi personalized siya. Pwede mo i-alloc yan sa, sa client mo like you just provide your own domain. For them to check. Okay, next. Pero I'll just give you reasons, you know, how to, I mean, the reasons why you need to join a paid class. So, right now, what we did are it's just a free class for an hour. Uh, the usual subject topics that they discuss ko for day one ng mga batches. So, ang reason, uh, syempre dito sa Cold Space Academy, well experienced sa mga trainers namin. More than three or five years experience in building a website, uh, graphic designs, we offer that too. And we also have e-certificates na verifiable sa uh, website. So, ang aming, uh, let me show you example. Ah. Certificates, ah, ito, sige. I-open ko yung isang certificate nung, yung gumawa ng travel blog. Ayan. So, ito ang aming certificate. So, right now, kasi hindi tayo pwede magpadala ng physical certificate. So, electronic certificate lang muna. If you notice, meron siyang unique certificate code sa baba. You can use this code to verify it on our website. Ayan. So, just type in the code and you'll know na napasa niya yung module na yun. Very good yan kapag meron kang cover photos. Or, I'm sorry, cover... Uh, yung, yung sinasubmit natin, resume, yan, resume na binibigay natin sa client. You can just put your certificate code there and the link for them to verify it. And it gives trust to the client na talagang natapos mo yung module na to. Alright? So, you will be able to learn then how to build your own website using WordPress. I assure you that. Hindi ko kayo bibitawan hanggat hindi kayo natututo for the five days na uh, mag uh, ano kayo mag aral for WordPress dahil kung yung batch one niya puro babae eh. I'm not degrading the girls ano pero I know that they can do it because even as some of them doesn't have any experience uh, madali nilang na na ano yung WordPress na gamay all right so question muna coach eds to tell you honestly I thought WordPress is like an upgraded version of MS Word Napakan na ko sa mundo ng online world. Okay. I'm I am really intimidated na creating personal website pala ang WordPress. Okay. Okay. So ang WordPress ay first of all magkaiba siya sa MS Word. 
Though yung editor nila, parang pareho lang din. Pero WordPress is mainly used to create a website. Uh, if, you know, if you don't know yet, ang WordPress, ginagamit din siya ng Disney. Ginagamit din siya ng big companies like Microsoft. If you search the blog site of Microsoft, they are using WordPress. Same thing goes with Disney. So, big companies din na gumagamit ng WordPress. Hindi siya yung pucho-pucho lang na CMS na kung saan lang galing. It's been years na. I think it way back 2003 nung ginawa ang WordPress. So, very easy and very trusted when it comes to web development. Okay? Thank you sa question mo, Angelita. Okay. No coding required. Okay, I assure you na no coding required when you come and uh, join the WordPress class. Okay? Pero sometimes may makikita ka yung code, so you can just ignore it if you don't know how to read codes uh, yet. Pero you can always ask. But I assure you, no coding required for WordPress. Zero coding knowledge. If you... Hello? Okay. Say hi if you hear me. Hello? Hello? Okay. Say hi if you hear me sa chat, please. Almost done na tayo. Tapusin na lang natin tong slides. Hi. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello guys, can you still hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Alright, okay. Sige, balik tayo. Sensya na. Medyo weak yata yung connection ko ngayon since nakadepende rin sa number of uh, ano eh, attendees. Okay, sige. Madelay na natin to. So, okay. Ano tayo? So, no coding required. I assure you that no coding required. Okay. Since you have attended the online class or the trial class ngayon, you will be entitled for discount rate for the upcoming batch. So, meron kaming batch sa Monday for batch 2. And if marami tayo masyado, I will split it to batch 3. So I only um, I only need to have 10 students to start sa class natin. Okay. So you will also get your own free domain and hosting for a year. So dyan pa lang, advantage na yan kasi pwede nyo na agad gamitin ang website nyo after the lesson, after the class. And of course, free support from our exclusive group. Meron kaming group of developers na uh, pwedeng sumagot sa mga concerns nyo. Or personally, you can chat me 
and I will help you. Okay? So all classes are recorded for future streaming if you, in case you miss the class. Pero meron tayong terms dyan na. If you miss the class, sometimes you are disqualified to get the certificate. Kasi three meetings lang naman ng calls eh. Okay, so move tayo. So how much po ba ang registration? If you're going to check it with other other providers, ang pinakamahinang price dyan for web development ay 6K. Okay? Pero hindi ako nag-charge ng ganun. Why? Ang introductory price ko ay 1.5 lamang. And since sumaten kayo, bababawasan pa siya to 1.4. And I only need 10 slots or 10 person to start the start the batch 2. Okay, so baka tanongin nyo ba't napakababa naman coach ng charge mo. Uh, I just want to tell you that this is, this is not my bread and butter. Ibig sabihin hindi ito yung source of income ko talaga. I just want to teach. And at the same time, para magkaroon ng importance sa inyo, ang learning, in return, you have to pay for something na gusto mong ma-learn. Okay, so may mga question na about training. Okay, let's see. You cannot find this any on any group page na nag-offer ng ganito kababa. We are the cheapest in the market. So I don't charge too high. Why charge too high kung ano na ba? You can charge normal and affordable naman just to, to teach other people. Okay, for the schedule. Uh, normal schedule namin, eh, meron kaming 9 to 11. So if we are going to have another batch, lalagay natin siya sa hapon. As, to, as long as 10 students lang maximum ang pwede natin i-accept. Okay, balik tayo sa price ha, kasi may nagtatanong. Okay, so eto yung pricing natin, 1-4 lang for all of you na umatend sa class. And lahat ng makakanood nito dahil recorded naman to. So we're going to discuss that more. Yes, start natin ay Monday morning. So sa ngayon, wala pa akong schedule for afternoon and gabi. But if uh, meron sa inyo magsa-sign up na mag-a-agree mag na afternoon or night, okay sa akin yun. As, depende yan sa student kung gusto nilang morning, afternoon, or night. Basta mag-agree lang kayong lahat. Okay? So yun, five days. Ang first day natin ay Monday, two-hour call for coaching call. Okay, so more of a lesson. Siyempre, uh, day one is more of a lesson type na may konting walkthrough. Tuesday, online activity, personal time mo. Ikaw bahala kung kailan mo siya gagawin as long as you meet the deadline for the next day. Magbibigay ako ng activity. Wednesday, call ulit. Thursday, activity. And Friday, ito na yung graduation nyo. So, uh, two-hour call. Pero yung ginagawa ko dyan, one-hour call lang for review. Then, the remaining one hour is your assessment day or assessment time na dapat niyong sagutan. Madali lang exam. Don't worry. Okay, so 9 to 11 a.m. po. Yes, 9 to 11 a.m. lang. Okay, eto. Eto yung madalas kong nakukuhang question. So, ano ba yung requirements to join the class? First of all, fast computer laptop. Dahil mahirapan tayong mag-build ng website kapag yung computer natin ay mahina o mabagal. Next, reliable internet connection. Again, I apologize at napuputol-putol. Ngayon lang siya nangyari nung nagkaroon ako ng maraming students sa class. Okay. And camera for video calling. I know yung iba sa inyo or nakita ko, isa lang eh. Si Noel lang nakikita kong may video. Hello, Noel. Yan. The rest, wala nang video. But, uh, kung bagang bagi start na tayo, ayun, nagkaroon ng video ang karamihan. Magic. Okay. So, kapag nag-start na tayo ng class natin on Monday, I will require you to have a video. Okay? Next is headphone and headset with mic. So, very important to have something like this. Ayan. Kahit yung cheap headset lang. As long as pwede tayo makapag-usap. Hindi naman ako nagre-require ng noise cancelling, something ganun. Dahil hindi naman tayo call centers or call center agents eh. Unless we're going to face a client at gusto natin kausapin, we need to have that. But right now, what you have there, if you have a headphone lang directly sa phone mo or sa, sa website, I, uh, sorry, sa computer, okay na yun. As long as we cannot, uh, we, we can communicate. Zoom app. Zoom software. Dapat yan naka-install yan sa either sa computer nyo or sa phone. Pero I suggest na when you do classes like this, especially when you do websites, 
dapat nakalagin kayo sa PC or laptop. Dahil doon tayo mag edit Mahirap kasi minsan mag edit ng website sa maliit na phone. Eh. So, hindi siya advisable. Okay? Free lang naman yung Zoom. Pwede na siyang install. Okay, nilagay ko lang dito software tools like Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro because I'm also teaching Adobe uh, Basic. Okay, and same thing with Adobe Premiere Pro, I also do editing. But right now, my priority is, since I'm, also, I'm a WordPress developer, my priority is to teach you how to do WordPress. So, doon tayo muna. Duration ng training, okay, nasagot ko na, five days. Ha, 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 shy kami, sir. Huwag kang shy. Okay lang yan. We're, we're friends here. Okay. So, terms and conditions lang para at least malinaw tayo. No? Uh, strictly no refunds. Kasi when you sign up, I know na buong loob mo na matuto ka for WordPress. And when you have doubt, again, this free call, I mean free trial class, no commitment to eh. No free naman to eh. So, if you decide to just move our separate ways after the call, it's okay. No hard feelings. But if you decide yourself, on yourself, na gusto mong matuto, go ahead, contact me and sign up. Yun lang yan. Ganun lang kasimple. For one missed class, you're disqualified to get a certificate. Two missed class, it drops you from the class or coaching. But you are allowed to retake the topic for the last time with full payment. This is also to teach someone a lesson. I did not teach someone a lesson. To, to be fair with other students na umaten, di ba? Kasi hindi naman pwedeng pag umabsent siya, may certificate pa rin siya. So, andun pa rin dapat ang willingness to learn and determination mo. Okay? So, next. Uh, saan ko nire-recommend tong module na to? Sa newbies. Of course, sa newbies. Sa wala pa talagang idea kung anong gusto nilang career path when it comes to work at home. So, kung gusto mo mag-start from WordPress, yes, pwede ka agad mag-start ng WordPress. Malay mo, one of the, the following months, tayo mo nang mag-build, kaya mo na offer yung services mo. Also, I recommend it to aspiring work, free, uh, work from home freelancers. So, kapag wala ka pang yun nga, career path at gusto mo mag-work at home ka na, napapagod ka ng magpunta sa office, lalo ngayon na naka-ECQ tayo, na halos hindi tayo makalabas, very in demand ang work from home. Kahit gano'ng kaliit ang kinikita mo, ang early rate mo, as long as you do the work inside your home, you enjoy it because you're still earning. We are fortunate because we are working at home. Unlike with other people that rely on jobs na sa labas, like they drive motorcycles, they drive a truck, hindi naman pwedeng dalhin sa work at home ang pagdadrive ng truck. So, we are uh, very blessed na we are giving that a chance to other people na makapag-work at home. So this is a good start for you guys. And also for senior high students. Meron akong student kanina, nag-graduate na rin, senior high siya. So na probably na-bore siya and gusto niya to learn WordPress. Yun, nag-sign up siya. And may certificate siya at the end. Okay, so limited offer lang to. Again, I don't charge much. This is only for me to tell that you are... Uh, Alam mo yun, prosige to learn. So, ayan, one for lang for this uh, class. Okay, my question. After graduation ba here, ia-assist nyo po din ng student for, for work? Okay, good question. Right now, I only give tutorial classes. Pero, meron akong agency, which is the codespace.com. We have clients na sometimes they're looking for developers, designers, VAs. May nabigyan na rin ako ng work. Ngayon, I don't give you the guarantee yet that you are going to have a job after you graduate. Pero, ito yung mabibigay kong ano sa inyo. You are on the top priority when you join the class. So, if mga ngailangan ako ng developers, designers, ang una akong pipilian ay nasa list na umaten sa class. Alright? So, ito. 10 slots lang. Ito yung link. I'll send the link sa uh, link mamaya, sa ano mamaya, sa chat. And ito few slides na lang, last few slides, to give you an inspiration. This is not to brag, my, uh, to brag uh, para iyabang ko. Okay, ito. I am a top-rated developer sa WordPress. So I've been working, uh, work from home for nine, I uh, know, sorry, 10 to 11 years na. I started, early rate ko ay less than a dollar. Imagine niyo yun, kung gano'ng ka... 
Okay, sorry. Hindi pala naka-share. Okay. Okay, yan. So, hope na nakikita niyo yung screen. Okay. Wait, ha? Nawala eh. Okay, screen share. Okay, na-screen share na? Yes na lang kapag nakita niyo yung screen share ko. Okay, kita nyo yung screen? I think yun, ito yung nakikita nyo eh. Okay. Ayan, okay. So, may sharing na siya. So, if you see... Okay, thank you. Uh, very impressive daw, sabi ni Angelita. Okay, uh, matagal ko rin winark win out tong profile ko. So, again, this is not too yabang. Uh, because we need to humble ourselves then for these uh, achievements. Um, I've been a developer for 11 years. If you see, top rated. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, yung arts work ko nasa 3,000 na din, jobs 159, 50K dollars total earned, hourly rate is $30. Ang hourly rate ko na to, this is just to, to let you know, ha. I get this hourly rate directly sa mga clients ko. So when they see my profile and early rate, no question asked, hire agad. Nagsa-start agad ako ng work. So sometimes, okay, may comment. Yaman mo na pala, sir. Hindi pa. We are uh, trying to, ano lang, uh, pay meral ko every month. Ayun. <clears throat> okay. So, yun nga. Nag-hire agad yung client kapag nakita yung established account mo, especially for top-rated agents. Ayan. Sir, magkano base mag magkano singilan on an average? Okay, I will show you my profile account in a few ha. Okay, so bakit may life burst? Okay, just to let you know, I'm also a Christian leader. Uh, no, Christian. Uh, I handle worship team eh, sa local church. Hello? Ayan. Almost done. Patapos na tayo. Sorry ah. Na-disconnect na naman tayo. Ito na yung pinaka ano eh. Pinaka final na eh. Share ko muna yung screen ha. Okay. Alright. So ito. Break tayo. Bakit may light burst sir? Okay. I'm also a, a member of a church. Na born again church. And I handle the praise and worship team. Head ako ng worship team. So when, so if I'm not working, nung wala pang ECQ, uh, I play guitar and bass. So nagtuturo rin ako ng mga instruments. So syempre, uh, this is the best thing that we can hold on right now, especially for ECQ. My life verse is in the Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And also for Psalms 37.4, Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. So if your desire ay to get a work or job, work from home job, i-desire mo siya sa puso mo. Dahil ganun din naman yung ginawa ko eh. Ganun lang din eh. Yung pinaka-secret ko yung tatanungin nyo kung ano ba secret mo sir? Bakit ganyan ka, ano yung profile mo? Kalinis ka, ka improve. First of all, put God on your center. And God, yeah, God will do the rest, di ba? So, lahat ng skills mo tatanggalin ng Panginoon yan kung he, you are not deserving, even if gano'n ka pakagaling. That's why wala tayong dapat ipagmayabang. Dapat yan, kay Lord lang. Alright? Pasada lang yan. Dahil alam ko naman, we are, uh, we know God eh. Okay, meron comment dito, 100, 100 Club Asia, see your video dun. Ay, hindi siya 100 Club Asia. Parang copy lang siya ng 100 Club Asia. <laughs> so, yan. Isasend ko yung link. Send ko rin sa inyo yun. Sige. Tapusin na natin to para baka maputol na naman tayo eh. Okay. So before you do the question and answer, papakita ko lang yung profile ko sa Upwork. Live to ha. You can see it. I'll send the link on the uh, chat. Okay. May evening class po ba? Pwede tayo magkaroon ng evening class if makakabuo tayo ng minimum of five students. Alright. So pwede nyo i-click yung link dyan or pag nag-enroll kayo, 
uh, inform nyo lang ako kung gusto nyo morning, afternoon, or evening. Kukulit ko kayo kung saan kayong group mailalagay. Then we can start the class on uh, Monday. Okay, so ito yung live profile ko for Upwork. Simple lang din ang laman niya. Ayan. Okay, may nagtanong kanina how much daw ako mag-charge sa paggawa ng website. Ito, may mga pricing ako nilagay. For a corporate website, I charge around 500 or 7, to 750. So let's do the math. Ano? Basta yung calculator. So for a corporate site, 500 lang muna. Sige, times 50 natin. For a corporate site, I charge 25,000. So before I start, I make sure that they pay me half. So ito ha, tips na to when you go on freelancing. This is also to protect you as a freelancer. Always ask for half payment. Pero kapag kay Upwork, Upwork naman is very secure naman eh. Okay lang mag-start na as long as may contract. And meron siyang milestone na tinatawag. So okay yan. Next, I also offer bi-weekly maintenance, $100 per website per month. So kapag nagpapa-maintain ng website ang isang customer ko, I charge him or her $100 for one month per website. Uh, more on fixed rate ka, Coach? Yes, more on fixed rate ako. Pero kapag nag-hire sila ng early rate, I give them my true rate. Unless they negotiate, binababaan ko siya to say 25, 20, gano'n. Kasi sayang din eh, work din yan eh. Magiging, magiging choosy pa ba tayo? Yan, yan. So yun dapat ang logic natin na you don't decline work ng ganun-ganun lang unless hindi mo talaga siya kayang gawin. If you can negotiate sa client, go ahead. So, ito yung mga uh, natapos ko ng project. Nakakita nga yung mga pricing dito eh. So, may mga feedback din. Feedback stars. May mga 250, 420, 300. May 420. I make sure na before kong bitawan si customer, I satisfy siya sa website niya. Kaya when you notice... Again, this is not to brag. This is just to inspire you guys. Na before ko bitawan si client, dapat satisfied na satisfied na siya. So, yan. So, if you have time, when you scroll down sa pinakababa ng contracts ko, dun yung makikita kung saan ako nag-start. Makikita nyo yung rate ko na napakababa, less than a dollar per hour. And uh, I pulled myself up to have this profile. Right? So, yun lang. And, uh, okay. So let's have a quick question and answer lang no. Try natin i-unmute. Unmute nga natin. Uh, okay. So i-unmute niyo yung sarili niyo kung meron kayong question or if you are shy to say something, chat na lang. I'll give you uh, 5 minutes para ma kung meron kayong tatanong sa akin. Um, question. Okay, sure. Play. Um, so it's for the for the paid trainings. Mm -hmm. E-email mo naman yung details na. No? Yes, correct. So yung link, eto is send ko yung link para at least meron na kayong copy. Dito lang kayo mag-register. Same link na nag-register kayo sa free class. But this time, you are going to choose the paid class na. Ah, uh, dito siya sa select topic. Go okay. to WordPress Development 101. Then sa class type, go to group coaching. Right now, you will see 1.5. But uh, kung ano naman, kilala ko naman kung, kung sino yung mga naka-attend dito, just say it na naka-attend kayo, I will slash 100 pesos. So it will be 1.4 na lang sa mga naka-attend. Okay. okay. So, and may... your schedule oh, yes. is 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Right now, ang schedule ay 9 to 11. Pero if may mga students na gustong mag-sign up, let's say 5 na, nabuo na yung 5, at they decide na gabi yung class, pwede kong gawin ng gabi. As long as we have minimum of 5 students, maximum of 10. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, Clea. Sasagutin ko lang tong question ni Chris. Sir, yung mga article contributors ba, yung web developer pa ba ang magpapasok noon sa site? Is that part of the maintenance? Okay, paglalagay ng article sa website, yes, it's a part of the maintenance. So, if a blog is running na at you maintain, you on, don't only do the maintenance by, excuse me, by doing the uh, upgrade version something or adding plugins or changing the theme's content. You also do adding of articles unless they have their own authors or contributors. 
na sila lang yung gumagawa. Okay? So, hope I answered your question. Uh, dito, sa ating mga ano din, kung baka meron pa kayong tanong. Uh, to. John Alexis, are you going to send update pag may mga gustong enroll pero on a night shift kasi can't be on the morning? Okay, so ang gawin na lang natin ganito. When you enroll, make sure to secure your slot na and specify lang kung anong uh, schedule ka. Kasi for sure, alam ko naman may mga mag-aano ng gabi. So when you secure the slot at marami nang mag-enroll, seven natin, five minimum, i-go na natin yan. So yan. Yes, mag-e-email din ako. And uh, I think the best thing is to add nyo ako sa Facebook. Kasi ang gagawin ko, gagawa ako ng groups or chat, group chat, na doon ako mag announce So i-add nyo ako. Doon yung malalaman kung uh, nasa five students na ba yung night shift or night schedule, pwede na kayong mag-ano din, enroll din. Okay, I really want to, from Angelita, I really want to join the, uy, nawala, paid class next Monday. But how do I know the final class time, AM or PM? Okay, malalaman natin siya uh, by Monday, siguro Sunday morning or afternoon. So if you are sure na, bawa, PM ka, you can just reserve your slot, pay your slot, and just specify your time. Aantayin natin hanggang magkaroon ng slot for night, for gabi. And so far naman, marami ditong kumukontak for night schedule. I know mapupuno ang night schedule, most likely. Uh, next, messenger po pwede. Yes, contact me sa messenger, pwede rin. Sabi mo kasi non-refundable, tapos kunyari nag-enroll ako, tapos puro morning sila, di ako ma-attend. Okay, syempre, eto, hindi kita i-enroll for the morning. You are enrolled, ibig sabihin, you have a secured slot for night. Pero kapag ang class nag-start na for morning, hindi ka hindi ka part doon. Kumbaga hindi ka pa included doon. You have to wait for the night schedule. Okay? Doon pa lang magsa-start ang day mo or day 1 mo. Pero meron kang secured slot. Okay, so ngayon pa lang i-announce ko na kung sinong gustong night, pwede na tayong mag uh, pwede na kayong magbigay ng ano nyo, uh, tawag nito, submit ng form for night schedule. Siguro babaguhin ko yung form ko doon lalagyan ko ng night pa at least uh, meron tayong option sige try natin na oh may kita nyo pa akong mag edit ng website ko ngayon oh yan edit natin yan so while waiting go ahead let's check okay sir do you accept paypal payment yes i accept paypal payment actually ang um, payment ano ko ay eto so i accept may bpi may union bank Coins, PH, PayPal, Gcash, and Paymaya. So I'll send this to sa uh, pag kinontak nyo ako. Or actually dito na lang. Or later na lang. Okay, so let's so na lang. later na lang kasi medyo baka mag ano yung Ano natin eh. Question. May option ba to pay PayPal? Yes, meron. 9.11pm po ang time ng night shift? Question mark. Okay. Check natin. Pero most likely, siguro, between 9 to 11 or 8 to 10. If PM class, same time po ba? 8pm to 9pm? Okay. This is where we can decide, no? So, try natin, siguro, 8pm. This same time. Same time na ginawa natin yung calls. 8 to na 8 to 10 pm kasi 2 hours ang call eh. So we can set 8 to 10 pm para hindi masyadong gabi yung pagtapos ng call natin. Okay? Kung sino kung sino ang may gusto na 8 to 10 pm ano na lang. Say mine na lang para tayo nagma-mining dito ng ano ah. Pa-mine na lang kung sino ang gusto na 8 to 10 pm. All right, BDO, BDO. Okay, meron. Meron tayong copy ng, ay, meron tayong account for BDO. Ayan. So, meron na tayong isa for 8, 10. So, lagay nyo lang dito. Okay. Same. Iti-check ko yan mamaya. If makakulay tayo ng 5 person, start na tayo agad. Monday night, 8 to 10 p.m. Ayun, may dalawa na. Uh, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, pwede na tayo mag-start. Isa na lang. Ayan. So, later, ipaprocess natin yung mga enrollees and payments. 
so that we can start on Monday. Actually, meron na akong isang attendee for Monday, kaso morning pala siya. Pero if I can ask her to join the evening class, mas okay, mabubuo na tayo. So ito, one, two, three, four, five. Ayan, may five na. So ibig sabihin, we can start na 8 to 10 p.m. Monday. Maximum of 10 students. Kung sino pa yung gustong mag-join for night class, ito final na to ha. Night class tayo, 8 to 10 p.m. starting Monday. Dahil nakakollect na tayo ng 5 persons dito. Saan? So pwede na yan. Ayun. So ayan, sige, hayaan ko lang. Mine na lang kayo dyan sa chat. Uh, okay. Ano pa? Question. Sige, bibigyan kayo ng more time to ask me pa. Pwede kayo mag-unmute. Pwede kayong mag-chat. Okay. So, wala pa naman question. So, bilang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayun, may five na tayong students. Si Angelita, Asela, Janina, John. Okay, question. If ever na hindi ako pwede next week, pwede po ba the following week? Yes. Weekly ang classes natin. Every Monday ang start. So if we start this Monday, batch to siya. But if you are going to enroll next week, say next, next Monday, either batch three siya or four. Kasi minsan nagkakasabay sa isang week ang dalawang batches. Eh. Merong umaga, merong gabi, pero sabay siya sa isang week. So yes, pwede. But in advance, you have to, uh, you can secure your slot. Kasama ka pa rin dun sa early bird price natin. Okay, question pa? So sa mga nag-mine, ni pm mo ko ha. Meron akong sinend na link dyan. Okay, good for beginners po ba ang WordPress? Yes, as discussed earlier, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have na dapat meron kang knowledge sa WordPress coding. No. It's zero code. Wala siya dapat. Kahit ang ano, uh, kakagraduate lang, pwede siya. Dahil no coding required tong WordPress na pag-aaralan natin. And with my supervision, syempre, ako ang magtuturo. I will be your trainer for WordPress 101. And if you uh, learn one, uh, WordPress 101, meron ako in-offer din na WordPress Advanced, which will include, of course, advanced topics na hindi ko muna i-discuss today. Dahil uh, at an advance, eh. baka ma-overwhelm tayo. Okay, question. With just five days of training, enough na ba yun for us to learn it? Yes. If you notice, may mga in-open akong websites kanina. To tell you, walang knowledge ng WordPress yung mga students ko na yun. But you see how, how good the websites are. Maganda yung pagkakagawa, maganda yung magkakalagay ng text. Because you will be guided. Sometimes they chat me late night. So okay lang naman as long as I can I can uh, help them. Kasi madalas sa mga students ko, gabi talaga gumagawa ng mga editing sa website kasi yun yung free time nila sometimes. Okay, if live na po ang WordPress, paano siya magkakaroon ng paid ads? Paid ads, uh, i-apply mo kasi yan eh, sa Google Ads. Eh. So kapag ang website mo ay bago pa lang, I don't na ma-approve siya. Dapat meron siyang maraming content muna at visits. So, yun. Alam ko lang, Excel and Word lang po. Qualified ba ako talaga sa WordPress class? Yes. Buti nga, meron ka pang idea sa Word eh. Kasi ang editor ng WordPress is like a Word, uh, MS Word document na merong text formatting, centering, adding of links. So, very similar siya. So, don't worry. Kaya mo to, Angelita. How about finding the client? Okay, I mentioned earlier na I'm focused on tutoring or teaching lang for the specific class. Pero if, if uh, one day ang client ko mga ilangan ng developers or designers, you will be on the top list. As long as you know how to do the project, pwede ko kayong i-hire. At meron na rin akong mga na-hire sa mga past uh, students ko. I know na batch 1 ang nasabi ko, pero before ako nagkaroon ng batch 1, may mga tinuturuan na rin ako sa schools before ako nag-move sa online teaching. Okay. So last two questions, sige, before tayo mag-end ng call, then we can proceed with um, the enrollment. Question, question? May expiry po ba ang certificate? No, walang expiry ang certificate. It will be lifetime. 
Okay, so since ang Codespace Academy naman ay trusted, uh, I call this trusted website, we have been on the business for 11 years. We'll be there for sure na yung, yung certificate mo ay pwede pa rin ma-verify to our website. Okay, hanggang kailan po valid ng 1-4? Uh, for the batch 2, ano ba ngayon? Friday, di ba? Dapat makapay ka before mag-start ng Monday. Say, hanggang Sunday afternoon. Before ako mag-offer ulit ng panibagong early bird price. So, after Sunday, babalik na siya sa regular price. Kasi uh, ang inahabol natin dito ay makapag-start ng batch 2. At uh, yun nga, ma-activate natin yung class for the night time. Okay. So if you are ready to enroll, go ahead and go to the link na binigay ko for online class. Wala pa namang payments involved dyan sa website na yan. Submissions lang yan. Just for me to know na interested ka. Select mo lang yung 154 WordPress and I'll deduct one for the, uh, 100 para maging 14 lang siya. Okay, so go ahead and submit lang para uh, makikita ko naman yung submission na yan sa email ko. Ayan. Okay, so any other questions? Are we good? Good na? Okay, last call. Five seconds. Oh, may mga humahabol pa. Oh. Excuse me. Okay, so... Ito, may magpasa, may nagpasalamat na. Okay, salamat din sa inyo sa pag-attend nyo. No? Total of attendees natin ngayon ay 21. So, thank you so much at uh, nagbigay kayo ng time to attend the trial class. Okay, I hope na may mga natutunan kayo kahit hindi siya ganun kabuo pa. Okay. Yes, yeah, certificate will be given after the class. Friday, most likely Friday or Saturday. Okay, so sa mga nag-mine, <laughs> nag-mining tayo ha, Sa mga nag-mine, go ahead and contact me sa Facebook or go ahead and fill up the forms. And I, uh, well, nakita na natin na meron tayong five students. So, minimum na yon for us to start the night class. So, sure na yon night class, as long as those five students signs up. So, maximum of 10, meron pa tayong available five slots for batch 2. Okay? So, kung wala ng question, thank you so much. Again, contact me for signing up. Okay, to check my messages now. So again, salamat. Thank you sa inyo. See you on my class on Monday. Okay, so again, I upload ko lang tong video na to so you can go back sa video. Okay, thank you. God bless.